glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. for this gridiron matchup. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle made at the 47. Oregon's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 50. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's scrambling, and he's tackled at the 50. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Lamb is waiting for the snap. Heading for the corner, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball in the 28. Around the 39 yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's under pressure. He passes it. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Red two. Or go. He's at midfield. Gonna go across the middle. Caught. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 47. And he's 
taken down at about the 23 yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 23. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. That makes it second and six. Stop at the two. Gain of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the two yard line. Second down. Schmidt takes it up the middle, and they got him for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. And this is the tenth play of the drive. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. Taken from the 10. And he's tackled at the 31. The Buffaloes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. The Ducks have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Throws it out right to the running back. That's a great tackle. The 49-yard line. Jackson brings his end at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. He's on the run. And now the ball is loose. They fall him. Caught down at the 28. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. 
Here's an opening. He makes his way out to about the 12. First down. Sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders and tacklers because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with a blocking scheme. This time they just let him go and he's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. We're through one quarter. Colorado's lead is a touchdown. We're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And he is drilled at the five-yard line. Sands gets a tackle at the five-yard line. That makes it third and three. Game. That is just that sound, really fundamental play. football right there, making it look so easy. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Oregon! be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reed. The Horned Frogs take the field in this game ranked number six. And for TCU, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. TCU has the edge, 10-3. In other action, let's head to the farm in Palo Alto. And for Stanford, a potential upset in the making right now. Ball State leads at 14-10. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Brian is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. From their own 42 yard line, it's first down. Throws and it's incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Black five! Black five! Again, he'll get the call. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Loss of two on the way. Third down. third down and they need to get it inside the 48. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to air it long. This one will fall incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20. Touchdown, huge play. That was simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. Tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he'll return this one from the seven. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Moore awaits the snap. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Oregon's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 28. Oregon up seven points. Gets to about the 27 yard line. Inside the 10. He gets to about the 5. That's going to be a game of 22 yards. That makes it first and goal. Oregon's going to take their first time out of the half. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's second and goal. Ball on the 6-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Ducks. Two touchdowns on the ground today. 
Boy, Brad, this guy's having a huge first half. Already two rushing touchdowns, and we know he can throw the football. I love to see his willingness to be able to run with the football, and it puts so much pressure on a defense. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Horned Frogs arrive at today's game, ranked number six in the land. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Roadrunners keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Cater. The Horned Frogs are on top, 17-10. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese 21-7. Bryant looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Zips it to the back. And they push him out at about the 29-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Slings it. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Throws quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. Robinson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to bike to 48 right now. Let's go. Strike to his receiver, no good. That brings us third and ten. Hey, Black He's got to throw it in a hurry. Got hit and still completed it. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. He's got it out to his tight end. Nice play to set up first and goal. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Second down and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go! Blue four! And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet-to-chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. He's tackled at the eight. Wallace picks up about five yards on that hookup. Colorado will take their last time out. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. The Ducks in front by 11. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither team has allowed a sack in this game, and while a lot of fans, and look, we've been guilty of it in here sometimes as we watch games from around the country, your eye sort of follows the ball. You want to see what happens. But then there's the game inside the game. What's it like in the trenches, offensive line versus defensive line, particularly when one side's winning every time, in this case, the offensive line? Well, it's always tough to judge because you could be doing your job just fine, but because the secondary doesn't play well, maybe it's just you're doing your job, but the secondary's not, and you look really bad on the same token. But, you know, it's it's the most physical spot on the field. You got you get your hands on those big, fat guys every single time, and you got to shed them, and you got to push them back, and you exert a lot of force and a lot of energy. And it, it's not – on defense, you just try to see ball, get ball. You know, offense, those offensive linemen, they got a little bit more brains to them. They, they know where they're going. They know where the play is. They know the snap count. It's a little bit easier for them. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Ralph from the six. Brought down at the 24. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. From their own 28 yard line. Second down. Black five. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up third and inches. To the tight, down the tight. To the tight. Four down, four down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, go back to 48. And two. Green, nine. He'll keep it on the ground again. He's taken down at the 34 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. It's away. Short punt. 19-yard punt. Out of bounds with the 47-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Right around the 44-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That'll make it second and inches. Four down, four down. There he goes. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Stop at the 22. That's a team of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. 23 to fight. Check 15. Check 15. Check 15. That goal after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Run and he's brought down. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. They don't want to. First down. Four down, four down. Up the 
middle for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at the four. Scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and he got it. Oregon to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30, they'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Brought down at the 49. From their own 49-yard line. First down. The Ducks lost a player earlier in Herbie. This is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese The Cardinal took the field ranked second and hoping to prove that they belonged in the number one spot. And for Ball State, They've now dropped three in a row. Stanford finishes it off 24-17. The one touchdown ball game race 24-17 here. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 24-17, Oregon. The 
Williams as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 33. Oregon's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oregon is up a score. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Bring him down around the 39 yard line. First down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes. Right around the 34. That makes it second and six. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 22 yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the back. First down. Four down, four down. Don't freeze the mic. Check it in, check it in. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. Set him up with a first and goal. Looking to go up two touchdowns. Oregon is up by a touchdown. And they'll get him in the backfield. This is the eighth play of the drive. got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. From the 13-yard line, third down. He fights forward to about the 10. Olsen gets three yards on the carry. The Buffaloes taking their first time out of the half. The kick is up, and he's got it. Oregon's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Oh, that drive was huge. He set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Smith takes it at the 8, and he's taken down to the 26-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Moves up and the 
defense has got it. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Got it. Completely out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Just over a minute left. He steps up. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Hit right away. Colorado is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He gets sacked on the play. The defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Colorado will use their final timeout from their own 27-yard line. Second down, under a minute left in the game. Takes a knee. score 27-17 Oregon for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time